Hello, friends. A very good evening to all of you. And welcome to another episode of The Pep Talk with me. Friends, it's been a long time since I've come up with a new video for all of you. The reason is I was a little busy with online and offline training. But here I am back again. So many people have been writing to me and in fact called me up saying that, well, we like the stuff you make. And uh, how do we make good presentations? That's important. That's interesting. And as promised, here I am with a different kind of a video because here I will not train you or give you any hints on any particular module. But I'll use one of my modules to tell you how to make a good and beautiful, effective presentation. So let me just uh, share my screen with you because I have prepared a slide. In fact, this slide was used in one of my training recently. And uh, I wanted to show you how you can also make good, interesting presentation, especially online. Because you know, online, you're not physically present. So you have to use all the tools to make your training interesting. So you can see this uh, first slide. Uh, I've just used simple pictures, a text. That's it. You can put your name. You can put your company logo. I've not done that, but you can do that. And uh, another important thing is, even if the presentation is on stress management or anger management, don't ever put negative photographs. Try to put positive photographs. How to overcome that? Not what is stress management and have those very, very negative pictures up front. So today's topic that I was about to present is on communication, but as you know, I already told you, I will talk only about the techniques. So I've put a photo, which I think is related and simple and eye-catching. The next slide, and you can see the animations I have used. You can uh, go back, see the writing, the color changes. So, you know, you can use all that to make it more interesting. So I think if you fiddle with your system, you will know. If you fiddle with PowerPoint, you will know how to use it. See, don't write too many texts. It's really boring. Today, people want to see things. So have visuals. One picture is worth 1,000 words. And you see, I have used animation and photographs. I could have written all these things, but I have not. And just to make it interesting, catch the attention, I've done something different. You can ask a question before showing a slide saying that, do you know what should be the exact percentage for a good communicator? Ask them to write it on the chat box or raise their hands, unmute and speak, and then give your answer out. Well, a study says, so you can use your training techniques like this instead of just showing the slide up front. Even in the previous slide, I think I could have done that, but don't do it too often. Then it will become monotonous. You can actually have activities online and great activities, very engaging. I use this activity, very simple, but trust me, it was very effective to communicate my next point. So it has to be related, right? So again, I use different designs because I don't want it to be monotonous. You can show videos because videos are good. You can use video cutters to cut the correct video. You can go to YouTube, download the videos, and you can show the audience. And then, of course, do the be brief and connect it to your own you know, topic of training. So, of course, you can do that. You can use quotes up front. That would also add effect to the fact that people will believe what you see. You can use yes, no, right, wrong just to have them focus on what is right. Again, I have used different colors, different designs. And again, you have to use a PowerPoint to train people or present uh, to, to a, a client. But you are important. This PowerPoint will only help you to do a good job. But using all the tools, you can actually engage the audience. See, in this, I have used a little bit of animation because I think I believe animations give a beautiful look. And of course, I have spent more than two days preparing for this, just four hours of training or so. So, you know, the ratio is two days of preparation for one day of training. That is the least you can do. I think I have actually spent more than two days. I believe in preparing and I believe in quality and giving the best 
presentation that I can. So you can also use case studies and ask them for the answers, give them some time. You can do it like I showed video, I did an activity, I give uh, give them some pointers and now I'm giving them case studies. So it's all going to be you know interesting and engaging for them. And you can use underline colors, all the kind of stuff that you can just to make your presentation really, really eye-catching. Of course, you can also use pointers in different ways. So the designs every time you use should not be monotonous. It should be something out of the box. So again, I have showed one more video. So, so that, you know, again, I'll do debrief. I'll ask them to talk on it. Again, use the pointers. So connect it to my next slide. So it's all goes hand in hand. If you look at this, again, I have used animation and this kind of a style just to be a little different. I believe that you need to stand out in terms of your designing and the text should be nice and simple and uh, try to use uniform uh, text and uh, uh, the margins or, or the size of the text, the colors, everything. And uh, it should be really good. Again, you can see in this slide, it's uh, nicely made. Again, another video because I don't want them to feel bored. You know, Training is just not uh, pushing your uh, training into their heads. It is actually uh, engaging them and making, giving them an experience. I believe that uh, you give, I believe in two things when I'm doing training. One is training, of course, the, the module. Second is uh, an experience. And third is happiness index. I think I really, all my life, I've focused in these three things. Again, you can end with a quiz. It can also be a recap. It can also give you as a trainer or a presenter as a feedback that whether the audience have understood and you can you know highlight people who have given the right answers so you see you can make your presentations very well and uh, give a very good presentation online i think if you follow this techniques and uh, what we discussed today you should be on your way to be a great presenter but of course remember the more you practice the better you get so thank you, friends, very much for watching this video. Until next time, be well, be safe, and don't forget.